was good youtube it's y'all boy shaw here man um thank you another video for y'all boys man make sure y'all stay in tune the whole time for y'all got for today and let's get straight into it so let's talk about this how being uncomfortable is the key on semi tension and no fat i'm gonna keep it all right real it's the key to lasting long be on long streaks on semi tension hear me out hear me out hear me out so we have been programmed throughout our childhood years growing up etc to bust as many nuts to think that busting all the nuts is good for us busting all the nuts chasing being your lust all the time is just for pleasure like these people that program that program us to think this way basically block out the deeper picture the picture behind the pleasure the picture behind the two the five seconds of instant gratification of that dopamine rush we have been programmed to think that all was just a pleasure. It was just for pleasure. But whole time, it was effing us up the whole time. You feel me? You get me? So just being on the journey alone, just you, not all being in, in your lust, just you not busting all the time, just you not chasing after all these girls, that's you being uncomfortable just being on the journey alone just not watching the hub just you stop jacking off that's you being uncomfortable because we have been programmed to do all the things growing up to think all the things watching the hub busting gallons week week by week was good was cool but whole time that was not the reality though. When you hop on the journey, you're gonna see the real behind all that. You're gonna see the truth. And the truth is that we have been acting ourselves over all these years that we have been programmed to waste, like waste all these nuts on these wasteless people, wasteful on these girls that they didn't get after by us. It's like, it's like when you hop on the journey, you're going to reprogram your mind to think that, nah, you're going to reprogram your mind to know that all those things is not cool. It's not right. It's not the norm for real. And, and we find out on the journey that going weeks on semi tension going months on semi tension that's the new norm for us fellas for us one percenters that's doing the journey that's the new norm going weeks going months without busting because going growing up me perfect example i'm gonna keep it already real being being comfortable all the time is one of the main reasons why I kept relapsing at my beginning of my journey. Because, because I haven't, at that time, like I didn't learn to be uncomfortable for real. I was still comfortable. I was letting me being comfortable control me in certain situations. And, and when you do get urged, like now, like, now, as I'm speaking, when you do get urged or that temptation to bust one, you got to put your mind in the, got to be in the uncomfortable state where you try to mute that urge, that sexual, that sexual urge to something that's positive for you. And so us be programmed to be comfortable and just go into the hub just hitting old old shorty up 
yo, what are you doing tonight? Just, just wasting our nut. Like, that was the comfortable lifestyle for us growing up. But now, when we do get urged, right? We transmit it to something positive that can help us ascend. That's the new uncomfortable for us. Because at first, at first when you started to do that, you had to be uncomfortable doing that. When you first start to transmit your your sexual urges to something positive, you had to be uncomfortable at first. Think about that real quick. Like, like time by time, like weeks by weeks go by, you start to get more comfortable at doing that, at transmitting your sexual urges towards something positive for you. So basically, we had to learn to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Like me, I had to learn to be uncomfortable. I mean, comfortable in the uncomfortable. So this is why I'm on day 49 right now because I fully had to learn to be comfortable in the uncomfortable. Just being uncomfortable, period, will make you a better overall person. Not just in sigma tension and life, period. You got to be uncomfortable, period, to see new things occur in your life to see changes occur in your life. If you were to always be comfortable doing the same things every day, you're going to you're going to be standing. What makes you think you want to see new things in your life? What makes you think you want to see changes occur in your life if you always be comfortable doing the same things? It's really common sense for real. Like you really think about all this. It's really common sense. Like you can't you can't become a better person if you're still doing the same bad habits. If you're doing the same old things that you were doing throughout your childhood through today. That's a problem with a lot of people. A lot of people are comfortable with what they were doing in their childhood to, to this current moment. This is why a lot of people don't become the person that they truly want to be. And, and another thing I realized is that I'm ready to bring this analogy up. Like trends, you know how trends go popping like because the trend had to come from originally one person and that one person basically had to be uncomfortable and try something new that people didn't try before and whole time, whole time that, that person that made that trend popular had to think to himself like, mm, what trend am I going to do? Like, am I going to make what I want to do popular? Because I guarantee you that original person that started that trend or made it popular, he had to think of an idea that he wanted to do to go popular, to do big, to do good. So what I'm saying is that I'm saying that that person that did start the trend, right? He had to be uncomfortable with himself and 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 whole time, <laughs> whole time. That trend took off. That trend went crazy because it was something that wasn't happening before. So the whole point is that you gotta be uncomfortable to start something new in your life. You gotta be uncomfortable to see a change, to make an impact in your community, wherever you're at. You got to be uncomfortable to make a positive impact. I am making a positive impact in my community. Watch, because, because I'm going to make, I am making people uncomfortable and try this, practice out. This practice is going to be big in my community. This practice is going to be popping in my community. I'm I'm the first person to do this for real in my community. And when these people see that I'm taking off with this, they're going to try to be like me because me make the channel alone, 
me just talking on the camera, I had to be uncomfortable. A year ago, I was not doing this. I was not hot on camera, just face myself on the camera. I was not doing this. I literally had to be uncomfortable to do this. <laughs> like, like, I'm starting to realize that being uncomfortable is really the key to being successful. <laughs> it's like, just me making this channel alone, me dropping that first content, I had to be uncomfortable myself. If I was to always be comfortable, if I was to always stay stood, stay in my comfort zone, I would not be talking right now on the camera. I would not have this channel right now. That's the whole point I'm trying to say right here. Is that especially on on C mutation and NoFap, being uncomfortable is the key to lasting long. That's the thing I'm starting to know for real. Being uncomfortable is the key to going on long streets. Just become an overall better individual. So I just want to hop on camera real quick to explain to you that how sigma tension is the key to last long on sigma tension and no fat because I master no fat. Like, that ain't nothing to me now. It's like, I don't even get the urge to watch that stuff anymore. That's how, that's how uncomfortable I made myself to a point where if I don't get the urge to watch that stuff anymore. So I'm just ending up right here. If you got to this point, I'm gonna say I love you, bro. Keep doing you, keep shining, keep elevating. To all the new subscribers, to everybody showing support, period. I appreciate you for showing love and support. That means much so me because I'm taking time out of my day to make content and y'all showing love. That, that inspired me to keep going. And I know that y'all like my content, so I'm gonna keep dropping the content for y'all. Hey, so just, if you knew, and you haven't hit the sub button, I recommend you do it. So it's a family over here. It's a journey. I'm only going up from here. Bang on top of bang dropping daily. You feel me? You get me? Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment and hit the sub button. <laughs> I'm just talking circles right now, but I get the point though. But hey, till next video, man. I love y'all, man. Let's get it.